When people ask me what I did in the war, I tell them that I did the same thing we all did. We fought for what was right. I've come to realize that there's nothing good about war, but there is good in why you fight wars. And we were all fighting for the same thing. I couldn't wait for this moment. Now that it's here. Winslow's been monitoring the radio, sir. Looks like the stolen signals worked. The Jerrys still think we're one of their own. They called it the greatest raid ever. And the memories I have don't even seem real to me. I was the only American with him. I was an officer with the OSS. For my part, it began in the spring of 1942. Hitler's war machine was steamrolling over Europe. And years of punishing German attacks were finally taking its toll on Britain. Nazi U-boats continually patrolled the North Atlantic tightening the noose around Britain's neck. Then word reached London that the Germans were sending the battleship Tirpitz. If that happened, the British coast would be vulnerable to attack, and what little defenses they had left would soon crumble. Since all previous attempts to sink the Tirpitz had failed, their target would now be the only dry dock in the area large enough to service her, in German-occupied Saint-Nazaire, France. This was considered by many to be a suicide mission. But for the British, desperate times meant desperate measures, and things had never been more desperate. St. Nazaire is nothing like I thought it would be. We smashed the dock and landed in a firestorm. We have our orders, take out the fuel tanks. The OSS wants me to keep my eyes and ears open for more intel. They gave me the name of a German officer, Mueller. That's all I've got. Recon says the dock is more heavily fortified than we thought. We need to move quickly if we're going to hold on to our advantage. Well, whatever element of surprise we had is gone. We took over the German HQ to set up our next attack, but now it's full of wounded, and we're taking heavy fire. Those of us that still can are getting ready to take on the power station. More information from the OSS would be helpful, especially about this guy, Horst. I'm not sure how he fits. All I do know is, we gotta get the hell out of here. I had hoped the darkness would give us a break, but it'll be light soon. The Campbelltown could blow at any time, so we need to get out of here now. I heard the Germans got our escape boats, so now we have to fight our way through town and head for the countryside. Coster knows we're coming. We'll be waiting. These commandos are the bravest men I've ever seen. People will remember this night, even if we live. Never thought I'd end up in North Africa, hottest place I've ever been. The OSS thinks the Germans are testing secret weapons in the desert. Intel believes a German officer named von Schrader is behind it. The plan is for me to join up with the desert rats and look into it. The Germans are supposed to be working on some new thing called a Tiger Tank. Direct orders are to take them out and whatever else we find. I'm tracking a guy named Breck. He's another of von Schrader's men. I'm with a Ford patrol closing in on their position. North Africa was rough. I'd been assigned to the British 7th Armored. Bunch of guys they called the Desert Rats. And they're elite force. And they'd do anything. The 
the thing I remember most about them was how they relied on each other. They didn't want me there. But even they knew they could use all, all the help we could get. The Nazis were in North Africa. Mussolini's hold on Egypt was slipping, and Germany had its sights set on the Suez Canal. Hitler needed both situations dealt with, so he sent his best. He sent Rommel. The Desert Fox, as he was called, quickly ripped across the sands and reclaimed Egypt, then stood poised to drive towards Suez. Desert rats were different. Their jury-rigged vehicles were kept moving on an unsteady supply of parts salvaged from the desert. Whatever they didn't have, they raided and took. For them, the word impossible didn't exist. Neither did fear or failure. Now, it seemed that fate and Von Schrader were bringing us together. Bunker in a tank, far into the canyon. Well guarded. Can you see the way in? Yeah. There's an opening at the foot of the cliff. All right, man. Search and destroy! The commandos in Saint Nazaire were tough, but these desert rats are a different breed. They fight like animals. I can see how they earn their reputation. We've cut our way deeper into the facility. Intel believes the Nazis are working on a rocket out here, a new kind of V2. We need to destroy it. We also need to track down Schneider. He holds important info. Feels like we're getting close to something. I've been sent to Russia to keep Hitler at bay delivering anti-tank prototypes. The plan is to exchange the weapons with the Russians for info about something called Virus House. It's been linked to Von Schrader, and they know where it's being kept. I'm moving forward with a Russian outfit. Our primary objective is to take out a German railgun in the village ahead. Additional orders are to come out with as much intel as possible. Situation is unpredictable. OSS says this guy Newman already knows I'm here. He may be hunting me. He may not be the only one. Stalingrad was a miserable place. Bitter cold. The people there were trying to defend their city. And some of them didn't even have guns. They were getting slaughtered. Bodies everywhere. But they wouldn't quit. Those Russians would fight to their dying breath. I never forgot, forgot that. When after two devastating years of war in Western Europe, Hitler diverted his attention to Russia. By October, Leningrad was besieged, and the Germans had reached the outskirts of Moscow. Hitler now took command himself, and against his general's advice, ordered an attack from the south on Stalingrad. Not wanting to suffer another tactical defeat, he concentrated his forces in an all-out effort to take the city. Stalin decreed that his namesake would be valiantly defended by the people. They would use bullets, clubs, even bricks if necessary to stop the Germans. For Stalingrad, surrender was not an option. Look, there is that damn rail gun. Our comrades across the river are taking a heavy beating from that devil. We have to take it up. And the radio tower. Quick! Let's go before it can do any more damage! Wait! Someone's coming. Don't shoot! It's me, Grigori! It's clear. There are only two guards at the gate. Dimitri, you move up to the farmhouse. I'll clear the gate for the others. Very well, comrades Vault. We will meet on the other side. The 
Russians have suffered greatly. Now they fight with a vengeance. Word is the info I'm looking for is close by, but I'll have to fight through hell to get it. The Russians are planning an attack today. I'll be with them. I have orders to recover and send virus house info back to the OSS. This man is guarding it closely. The Russians want it too. I've been ordered to destroy the intel after transmission. HQ wants to keep it out of Russian hands. Feels like we're at a turning point. You have been of great service to Soviet people. It is a pity that you are leaving empty-handed. Perhaps it is for the best. Das vidanya, comrade Holt. I hear the Nazis are losing steam. Everyone's hoping for a quick victory. The OSS has tracked von Schrader to Belgium. A French resistance operative, Manon de Cham, reported that she'd found something. Now she's missing. Orders are to go to the American command post near her last position and get more info. Don't know what von Schrader's doing out here. Intel says a German general named Kappelhoff is linked to him somehow. Going forward to check the line. None of this feels right. Well, there was snowing in the Ardennes. You couldn't recognize one town from the next. And I guess that's what a lot of us remember the most. Cold. And how it just never stopped snowing. We all thought it was over. The pain, the cold, the waiting. And we'd all be going, going home soon. 600,000 Americans and 55,000 British were camped there. Judging it an unlikely spot for a German offensive, the American staff commanders kept the line thin, concentrating their troops at key points to the north and the south. I didn't know at the time, but this place was soon to become a crossroads. For the war, for von Schrader, for everything. It's too quiet. Can't see nothing from here. Crowds are dug in too deep. That's it. We've got to get a man up there. Sir! You were due to pick up intel from the CP 20 minutes ago. I hope you're right about this. I hope I'm wrong, Sergeant. Okay, you heard the man. Crockett, you're up again. Call me lucky number seven. Watch my gear. What do you see? It's all clear. Get down! Chaos out here. The Germans caught us completely by surprise. We're trying to regroup. Recon says that Menon is being held in a farmhouse nearby. We've been ordered to rescue her. It's well guarded. The OSS thinks that von Schrader's most trusted officer, Freder Engel, is questioning her there. There isn't much time. We've got to move fast if we're going to get her out alive. Red Ball is here, sir! Manon told me von Schrader's plan about the dirty bomb. And it all fits. The launch site in Saint Nazaire, the secret weapons in North Africa, the virus house information in Russia, now here. Intel believes he intended to use the bomb on London, but now that the Germans are desperate, he might use it in the Ardennes. It'll kill thousands. My orders are to find him and stop him, no matter what the cost. What 
told! He did it! You men shoot any crowd as so much as twitches. Corporal Fielder, with me! Hold! Thought we lost you there! What happened to Von Schrader? Dead. He's gone. It's all gone. Good work, Holt. Here, I'm in order to give you this. The Krauts are falling back to Berlin. Our forces will be right behind them. Will you be following the action? Yeah, I'll be there. Then let's give them hell. Carry on, Lieutenant. Sir. That was a long time ago. For a lot of my buddies, the war was over. Some of them went home. Most didn't make it. When people ask me if I was a hero in the war, I think about the ones who were left behind. They were the heroes. I don't know how I survived, but I did. So I keep their memory alive. I owe it to them. We all do. For what they did.